Hello, my name is Teresia Dean. I am in Dr. Esteban Flick's class for Humanities 22-33-60 online. And I am covering the Hagia Sophia. Here it is. As we can see, it has architectural appeal. And it's also colorful and very well lit, which is nice. Um, we can see the dome shapes that it has all around it and the pillars of which it stands and the walls that were built to hold up that dome. What I found interesting most about the Hagar Sophia is what it meant. And it means holy wisdom in Greek, which that ties into wisdom of all religions, especially Christianity. Um, we have a whole book, the book of Proverbs, which is dedicated to wisdom. Constructed in 537 BC, it has been standing for over 14,000, 1,400 years, located in Paris. It's currently used as a museum nowadays. Being a makeup artist, I love the art of it all, the shapes and the colors, and mainly the light, the lighting um, when dealing with makeup. You deal with lots of shading, but you figure out ways to bring light to your canvas, which is a person's face. So it reminds me of art on someone's face, makeup. And it reminds me of my church, the Gate Church in Oklahoma City, because they're both big, so huge uh, buildings for worship. Uh, and it has a purpose of worship, which is nice. Now I'd like to talk about the settings, historical and cultural. Historically, the Hagar Sophia, whose name means Holy Wisdom, is a dome mounted originally built, dome mounted originally built as a cathedral in Const. Antinople and uh, now uh, is tenable Turkey in the 6th century AD in plain it is about 270 feet which is 82 meters long and 240 feet which is 72 meters wide the dome is 108 feet, 33 meters in diameter, and its crown raises some of 180 feet, 55 meters above the pavement. pavement. So it's during the Roman period, the Hagar Sophia was the Empire Church and as a result was the place in which the emperors were crowned. The area the area that is on the right of the gnosis where the flooring is covered with colorful stones creating an interwining circular design is the section in which the Eastern Roman emperors were crowned. The principal church it was the principal church of Canis de Lopo. Destroyed twice. It was destroyed twice by fire and by civil disorder in, Nica, in the Nika revolt during the Justinus reign in 532. Worship developed from inspiration of St. John, Christ in stone in 347 to 407. He was a patriot of the city in the century before uh, Justine. 
It was destroyed twice by fire and rebuilt during Justine's reign. Justine decided to rebuild the church using the plans of two architects, Animetus of Trollis and Ido Oris of Mahaltes. I really enjoy the art of it all. Hagar Sophia went far beyond the functional needs to illuminate the exterior of the church. Lighting, refracting, and the church created a spiritual ambience analogs to the to the that of the heavens, where believers would be bathed in the actual light of God. A stunning architectural achievement that has long latitude latitudinal shape of the Roman bas basilic with a domed central plan. It was it has triangular masonic devices that carry the weight of the dome and and massive piers. The visual impression comes from the massive dome. Light is a key element in this structure. Light streams into the church from the windows and refracts off of the rich mosaic and colored marble that covers the interior. Here we see a picture where it displays the inside in a beautiful light that beams. And here we have my cited sources.